Hi, I'm Claire MacDonald. So in this demonstration, what we're going to work with is we're going to do some knotting techniques uh, with the, uh, the different kits here. So if we have a look at them, so you've got the storm cloud kits, you've also got the horizon kits and the wildflower kits. So these are the knotted, um, the knotted kits here. So within these kits, what you actually get are you get your, uh, your six mil rounds of the gemstones and you get some six mil metal spacers here and you also get some four mil spacers there and then you get your cord so your 0.4 cord here so you can see here we are so the other thing that you'll um that you don't really need very very many tools to um to work with this kit i'm actually going to work with uh, i've got some sharp scissors uh, you can also work with a lighter as well if you want to just to um singe the ends if you've got um, uh, a clip like this, that can be very, very useful. Uh, you can also do these uh, with safety pins as well, if you're wearing um, denim jeans, something like that, and you can work with, on your knee. Um, and I've also got a little bit of cardboard as well. That can be quite useful. So there's really, uh, there's th that's it for materials. So the different techniques that we're gonna work with on, um, on this, uh, this demonstration are basic knotting techniques. So we're gonna work with uh, what's called a square knot. Um, and so we're going to use that in a couple of different ways. We're going to use that square knot uh, to make a Solomon's bar, which is a, which is a closure. So you can see uh, we're going to make sort of it's a sliding closure, very very simple one that we can use to tighten and open the bracelets. So we're going to do the Solomon's bar. We're also going to work with that that square knot, and we're going to work with the gemstones as well. So you can see that's going to give us that effect here. And then the final technique that we're going to work with is we're going to do a simple knotting technique like this, where we use the cord as the spacer in between the gemstones. So I think that the best starting uh, point is if we have a go and we work with a, a sort of a very, very simple bracelet, and then we do the Solomon's bar so I can show you how to do the square knot. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm also going to work with a slightly heavier cord so that hopefully you'll be able to see it in the demonstration. When you're actually making your bracelets, what you can do is you can always double up that, that cord that you've got in your kit if you wanted to. So my starting point is going to be, so I've got my cord and I've got some of the spacers and I've got some of the gemstones. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna make any combination that we, that we want. So I'm gonna cut a length of the cord. Again, I'd probably maybe go with about, uh, you could go with 10 inches or so and that's gonna be, that's gonna be more than enough. So I'm gonna cut that here. And we can thread on any, any combination that we want of the, of the stones. So I'm just going to start and thread these on. So again, it can be whatever, whatever uh, combination of gemstones you want of the colours. You could have it block colours of all of the one gemstone or you could alternate. It's entirely up to you. So I've threaded on. I would go with about, um, I've probably got a different combination there. So if we have a look at this one, so maybe two, four, six, eight. 10, 11. So I know that's going to sit really nicely across my wrist like that. So the first thing we're going to do with that, if I just move these out of the way, so I've put a couple of spaces on there and I've got the two lengths. So I'm going to slide that so it's into the middle of the, of the cord that I've cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the spacers, I'm going to add this at the end. So I just know that that's the end there because if we have a look at this one, this is what I want it to look like. I want a silver spacer and then I want a knot. So I'm just going to check that this is about even. So I'm going to put the two ends together and bring that in here. So that's about even. So I'm going to hold here and just tie a simple knot and that will lock that in place. So if you feel that that one knot might go through the drill hole, so I'm just going to hold here and bring through again. So we've got a nice double knot. So I'm going to bring that so that that's that knot has tightened over the first knot here. Pull from both sides, go to the other end. So slide that down now. So that is going against the knot here. And do the same on the other side. So those spaces just add on because you're going to get lots in that kit. So just almost like a punctuation, like a full stop, telling us that that's the end of the, of the bracelet there. So I'm going to bring that up and slide up. And actually that single knot is enough, it's not moving. So we've got, the, we've got the, the decorative part of the bracelet. So what we need to do now is we need to make the closure. So that's where the square knot comes in. 
So to do that, you can do this uh, if you've got a macrame board, if you wanted to, but if you haven't, so I've just taken, so you can see this is an, a, a cardboard box and I've just cut a section off it. So you can also work if you've got like a lever file, anything like that. Um, you just want something that's a little bit sturdy. If you are working with the cardboard, um, a bit of cardboard box, what I am going to do is I'm going to just cut two little lines here. So I'm just going to go in here and just pop that one in there. So I've just got those little folds there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bracelet, I'll work with this one here, and I take the two ends, I'm going to slide them through. So I've got one coming in here, and that's going to go like that through the other side. Keep that out of the way. And take the other one, and again, this is going to go through here, and this one is through here. I'm going to pull those so they're nice and taut, and we've now got the two, two cords coming in from alternate sides and going through the little cut marks that I've made here. So we're going to work in this area here, and we're going to make this, this Solomon's bar, this slide enclosure. And I'll work in a different thread so that hopefully you can see, you can see the knot. So I'm going to take, cut a length of the, of the cord, and I'm coming through. So I'm going to go underneath the two cords of the bracelet, again to about halfway. And so I'm just putting the ends together so that I can find where halfway is. I'm going to tie a knot here. So I'm going to pull that down so that that's going, I'm pulling tightly around the two cords here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just treat this as one cord now rather than two. So to do our square knot, we just need to think that this knot is going to be in two parts. So we always want to do both parts rather than just, if we only do the one part, it will only be half of the knot and it won't be as secure. So the first part of the, of the square knot is going to be, we're going to remember two letters. So the first letter we want, I'm going to start on the right hand side, I'm going to make a P. So you can see here, so I'm going up and out. So I've got that P here. So I'm going to put my finger here. I'm going to take the other side, so I'm coming from the left hand side now. I'm going to go underneath the two strands here of the bracelet. And you can see the end just poking out into that P. I'm going to hold both sides and tighten up towards that first knot that I've done. So you can see where that has gone here. So that was half of it. So that the P on the one side was the half. So what we need to do, we need to do the other half of the knot. So we had the P on the one side. So on this side, we're going to have a D. So you can see, so if I move this down a little bit, we're creating, we're coming round with this side and we've created a D here. So again, I'm going to hold here and take the other side and come up and over that side, this cord here, up underneath the bracelet cords into the D. And pull that, take both ends and tighten up. So we'll do that again. So we've done this side. So that was a complete square knot. So we're going to come back this, this side, start on the right. And we're going to make our P. So you can see the P here. Again, I'm going to hold that there and take the other side, take the end, and I'm going underneath the bracelet cords into the middle of that P and pull and slide up. So I've done half of the knot. I've done the right side, the P side. If, for, uh, say for example, the phone went now or I had to leave it for a minute and I wasn't really sure, I couldn't really remember which side when I came back, I couldn't remember which side I'd been working on. The little test that is to tell, so you can see on this side here, the cord is coming from underneath the little loop there. So you can see it on the side, as opposed to here, it's coming over the top. So I know I need to start and do the side where it's coming out from underneath, okay? So I know before I had my phone call, I was doing this side, so now I need to finish on this side. So this side was the P and this side is the D. So I'm gonna bring this up, coming over, underneath the bracelet cords and pull tight and that's finished the knot. So you would end up doing so I've done a few of them here. 
I'm just going to pull this tightly now. So you can see that what this does then is this will now slide and I can work this so that this slides and closes the knot there. So you can see how that works. And this is where the lighter comes in if you wanted to. I can just go in and snip and then singe and bring that down so that then closes it off. So that's how you'd actually do your Solomon's bar. So if we have a look at it on the actual piece itself, you can see that's how it works. So the Solomon's bar is on the two bracelet cords and it slides open and close, which means we can get the bracelet on easily. So that's your square knot used in the Solomon's bar, which gives you that, that closure. So you can use that on all your different types, your variations of bracelet. So that was the most simple. So if we move that aside and we have a little look at the next technique. So the next one we can do is we can use that, we can use that square knot and slightly more complicated with this one. It's a nice, a nice step up. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use that square knot, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to use and put some beads in here. Okay, so we're going to have it so that it's like that. So it looks slightly different, but it is still the same technique. We're still going to use that, that square knot. So I'm going to pop that to the side and let's have a look. So this is one where we're going to actually use, our, um, we're going to use the board and some of the clips. So if I just get some of this out of the way. So again, for this one, I'm going to work with a couple of different strands. So I've threaded on. I've threaded on some of the gemstones onto the strand here. So the gemstone strand is not really going to do very much in the, um, in the, in the square knotting process. It's going to be in the, in the middle, but we're going to knot around it. So I'm going to take the, the gemstones and I just clip that here. I'm going to bring that down and have that so it's nice and secure. And I'm also going to do that on the other side. So I'm going to put another clip. I'm going to have that at the bottom there so you can see where that is. So those gemstones are now all threaded onto that middle cord here. I'm going to pop them down the bottom and we're going to work, start and work at the top. So I'm going to take now, I'm going to take a good length, so I'm going to take an arm's length, probably about a metre or so of the thread. Because we're going to do quite a few knots with this. So I'm just going to take a shorter length for the demo purpose, but you would take about a metre. I'm going to take the two ends again, so we're going to find the mid midpoint this thread here, so with my finger, I'm going to tie a knot around this point there. Okay, so I'm going to tie up here and start with my overhand knot and bring that down. So if I want, if you, it'd be time to think about, if you were threading them all on, if I wanted some of my spaces in here, then I could put some spaces in. So it's whatever combination you want. It's nice to have them all, all on there to start with because then you can literally, as you're knotting, you can slide up. So maybe have a think about the different combinations of, of the beads that you want. So I'm just going to start off, I'm going to do a few square knots again and then I can show you how to add in the bead. So again, I'm going to start from the right hand side. So I've got my P here. I'm going to take the end of the other side, which is a little bit fiddlier this time because we've got a longer thread, up through up and underneath this middle cord, up into the P, make sure it has gone under, bring through and tighten there. So remember if we've done the P, we've done half of it, we now want to do the D. I'm going to bring this round, create that D, so you can see coming down, we've got the D shape here. Take the end of the other side, so I want the right hand cord this time, take the end up underneath that middle strand, up into that D and pull tightly. So you could do a few of those if you wanted to. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add in, so we've done a completed uh, one square knot here. So now I'm going to bring up one bead. So I carry on as normal. So I'd finished this side and remember the way to check is just to check that this little, on this side, this cord is coming out from underneath rather than on top. So again, I'm going to form my P. You can see how this is. I take the other side and bring up and into that P. I'm going to tighten now. So I'm just going to take my time, tighten, 
take it slowly with that knot and encase that bead here. So remember we've done one half of it because we've done the P. So now if we've done the P, we need to go over and do the D on the other side. So let's create that D. It's coming over here. You can see the D. And I'm going to take the end here. And again, so we're coming, we're taking the right, right hand cord underneath that central one up into the D. I'm just going to tighten here and pull there. I'm going to take the next one. So remember, we're starting on this side with the P, bringing this over underneath that middle cord into the P and tighten up and trap the bead. And to finish that knot off, we make the D. Take the cord from the right hand side underneath that middle section and tighten up. So you can see by doing that square knot and adding in the bead, that will give you, i show you this one here, that gives you that effect there. So it's still the square knot, but we're just incorporating the beads in here. So you can see the square knot at the beginning, just on the standard thread on the cord, and then the square knot that goes all the way around the beads. And we can do the same here. So when we finished the, the doing all the square knots that we want, we would cut these threads and maybe again, a little bit of nail varnish or you can uh, light them with the lighter and just singe them down. Obviously, you don't do a combination of both, but you just want that so it's going to go in. Then you would take those two ends and do the Solomon's bar again on those on that style, and that would give you that bracelet. So that's a really, really nice variation of how to work with your square knots. So the other thing you can do, because you've got the lovely cord and you've got the the gemstones, the rounds, is if you if you want to do that, you can almost do like a, a pearl knotting technique. And this, this again is a very, very simple way of working with the, the cord and the gemstones. So what I've got here is I've got a cord again. And I take, and so you could take, if you wanted to, a paper clip or um, a pin, something like that. Anything that you might be able to tie the knot really nicely. Uh, without it, but sometimes uh, a pin can help. So I've got my uh, I've got my gemstones. And I'm going to start. So again, I'm going to leave myself probably about about three inches at, at the end here. I'm going to start two. I'm just going to take all these off here. I'll bring those off. So I've got the cord. I'm going to start and do a knot. So I've got the knot. So I've got the one side of the cord here, and I've come all the way around. I'm going to take the end and up through loop here and just tighten and that first knot is quite easy to do. I'm just going to pull from both sides. I'm going to take one of the stones and go through and we're going to feed that all the way down so that that falls down. It sits next to that knot that we've just done. So now the, the second knot is a little bit fiddlier because we have obviously haven't got two end, two free ends like this. We've got the we've got the bead here. So we're going to start and tie the knot. So we do it in exactly the same way as we did before. But we're going to ha have a little bit more control of it so it doesn't tighten. Because what we don't want is we don't want that knot to tighten here so that we've got a big gap here. So this is where you can feed it down. So going back towards the bead. Or if you've got your pin, you can put your pin inside the knot and just bring it so that it's tightening around the knot. and you're drawing that knot back up towards the bead. So I'm just going to hold here, making sure that that pin has gone into that loop there. So you can see the knot's getting much smaller. So making sure that that has gone in here. I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to draw it back so that, that knot sits much closer to the bead itself. So you can see I'm pushing from this side. I'm going to take out the pin and push against here. So we've now got a knot on the one side, the bead, and then a nice knot very, very close. So I'll do that once more. So take the end, take one of the rounds, let's pop that in. 
I'm going to take that and let that fall, slide it all the way down so that it goes next to the knot that we've just done. Again, so we tie hold here, we're going to tie a knot, normal overhand knot, bringing it through, bring that like that so we've got the knot here. I'm going to feed now, bring this knot so it's closer, closer, closer. You don't want to do it with the pin, you can see I'm just supporting it with my, my finger and my thumb here and I'm pushing and tightening, I'm pushing it in this direction next to the bead so that, that knot sits like that. So that's another way you can work with your, your rounds and your, your knots and your cords, which will give you this effect here. So you can see how that, that cord acts as a spacer, and you can see then, so we've got our Solomon's bar. And so to finish off the, um, that design, because you've done the knotting technique, you've done the square knot here as the, the Solomon's bar, and then all we've done is we've put one of the beads or one of the spacers just to act as a bit of a weight so that when you're wearing it, that those cords are going to sit nicely and hang down. So you can see all the different variations that you can make with those, those different knotting kits. The lovely colours of the cord and the gemstones. And again, the possibilities are endless with this because you have got, whether you work with, um, you can see on here, so we've got pretty much, this one is all spacers, or you've got different colours of alternate gemstones. So if you do need uh, more inspiration, you can always go to the website and have a look at the website, which is uh, www.jewelrymaker.com. And you can also look at the, uh, the YouTube channel. You could go on Facebook, on Instagram, and have a look at what the guest designers have done there. If you've got the Jewelry Maker app, you can watch us 24-7 there for, again, more inspiration and watch the shows. And if you do sign up and you're a new customer, then you'll also get a free gift. And we do ship to the, the US every single day. So you can see all the different variations there. And you can see from one of those kits, you're probably going to get maybe, uh, maybe uh, depending on the, the, the different sorts of combinations you do, lots of these are gem heavy. And we've got maybe about six or seven bracelets out of them. So you could, you know, you could maybe be getting five to 10 uh, different styles of bracelets. So you can see all the different ones there. So thanks very much for watching.